Hello everyone, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. I hope you are all well. Oh, if you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. We're here to throw down cards for Aquarius for their end of April reading. Almost done with the cycle. I have Aquarius and Pisces to go and then I'm done. Oh, what do you think of that? It's only like 10 days late, you know? <laughs> well, at least five days. I wanted to get everything done by the 15th, but... So today's 21st, six days late. That's actually pretty good for me, just saying. Anywho, enough about me. This reading will be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It's your journey and I'm going to just read the cards. If it does not resonate, that's okay too. It's not going to resonate with every Aquarius. It's not supposed to. It's a general reading. And I'm, I can't pull that kind of energy out. I, I just can't. I mean, it'd be pretty awesome if I could, but I don't know, my brain might explode or something. It, it'd be something out of one of those weird sci-fi movies. I don't know. But, if it doesn't resonate, you can throw the reading out all together. Forget you ever saw it. Or check your moon rising or Venus sign readings. Whatever you want to do. It's your journey, not mine. Again, I just read the cards. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. You play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. If you're a cross watcher, pop it in on Aquarius. You're welcome here too. Come on in. I got soda. We're gonna pop some popcorn as soon as I'm done with these readings. Have a little family night before bed. Uh, I feel kind of bad. I got called away after Capricorn. I had to run down to the bread and butter job do a little scouting for my boss um wasn't anything super serious i hope um there's a little bit of smoke a little bit of fire everybody's fine everything everything's good but i'm, I'm third in command at the place so and i i live the closest it's only like a five minute drive so yeah that was my night and that's why this is about an hour later than i wanted it to be anyway aquarius why are you here two of swords in the reverse Unable to make a painful decision, possibly. Can't quite take the blindfold off. Can't see the forest through the trees. I tell you what, in the upright, though, that cat is eyeballing that raven. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I think they're about to have it out. Anywho. Aquarius, how do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Five of Wands. You feel like they are very confrontational. Could be a fire sign you're dealing with, possibly an air sign. You feel like if you say the wrong thing, there's going to be words. It, 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 like explosive. It's very explosive. What do you think of them? Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. You think they're a little clingy, little clingy, little needy? Huh. Okay. What do you want from them? Page of Pentacles. Oh. The Page of Pentacles can represent an apology. It, can also, it represents a small, small, slow-moving offer. We're going to get clarity, but I'm getting the sense of an apology. That's the word I keep hearing in my head. How do they feel about you, Aquarius? Magician reverse. They find you manipulative. They think you're a string puller. Oh, 
Wow. That's a word. Okay. What do they think of you? Ten of Pentacles reversed. <laughs> they think you're poss possibly reckless with money. Don't have your crap together. They don't think anything uh, abundant or stable is going to come out of this. What do they want from you? The sun in the reverse. You have to get clarity on that. That confuses me. They want the sun to shine again. The sun isn't shining and they want it to shine again. They want happiness and they don't have it right now. What's the challenge here? Two of Pentacles reversed. Huh. Painful decision. Juggling, emotional juggling. Painful decision, emotional juggling. Decision, can't decide. What can be done? Four of Swords reversed, restless energy. There's restless energy, somebody needs to relax. This is why we get clarity, guys. What's the projected outcome? <laughs> Reversed. I talked. I can't remember if it was the the Sagittarius or the Capricorn reading, but I talked very briefly about the Fool card, and I think it was in my Illuminati deck about the fool card. There is no dog in this particular picture, but it was like the dog getting ready to push it off the cliff. Like, usually the dog is depicted running around the fool's feet saying, don't jump, don't jump. And this particular one of the dog is like trying to push him off the damn cliff. No, really, it'll be cool. It'll be great. Let's go. Like they're both Aries or something, you know, just jumping in and not thinking about it. I'm not trying to rip on Aries. I'm just saying Aries... You're extremely impulsive when making decisions. I'm just saying. If there happens to be an Aries cross watcher in the room, I'm sorry if I offended you, but they have to be about the most impulsive sign I've ever had to deal with or engage with. They're so cool just because of that. So it's your good and your bad aspect depending on which one I have to engage with. Anyway, full card in the reverse for protected outcome. Lack of trust. Not trusting. Not trusting. Somebody may be acting childish. That could be part of it too. And we're going to clarify with a gilded deck tonight. Again, I, not too much of this needs to be clarified. I mean... One... Two, three, four, six cards. That's not bad. Six out of ten. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for Aquarius for their end of April reading, please? That's an email. I'll check that later. Why is Page Pentacles here? <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but I love it when the universe does this. I love it. 
page pentacles clarified by a page of pentacles. It's like it's saying to me, hello, I already told you. Why do you need clarification? So I'm going to say you want an apology, Aquarius. I don't know what you want an apology for, and I'm not going to delve into that any further because the universe has spoken. Not questioning it anymore. Okay. Why is the Ten of Pentacles reversed here? That's another one that kind of tripped me up a little bit. Hi. Oh, don't fall on the floor. <sighs> Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Wow, straight up. Okay, so... Not financially stable. Don't have your crap together. Literally... Probably thinking there's a possibility they could literally end up out in the cold. Aquarius, this is what they think of you. I, I've never known an Aquarius to not have their crap together. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> you, pretty much all the Aquarians I know, they got it together for the most part. While I'm over here... Um, why is the magician reversed here? Manipulation, communication. Fast moving, one more. Hermit reversed. That splits the story a little bit. Hermit reversed. Like, extremely introverted. Fast mover, mover, shaker, active. Pulling puppet. I keep hearing puppet strings. They may feel like you have your head in the sand a little bit. <clears throat> that doesn't make sense. Ten of Swords, Judgment, Reverse popped out. They could possibly feel like you've been a victim of manipulation in the past. End of a painful cycle, ten of swords, judgment reversed. Healing. You're still healing from something. You're possibly still healing from a manipulation, something that moved too fast. That could explain why you feel like you walk around on eggshells with them. It's very interesting. I don't know who that resonated with, but that's interesting. It's interesting that that went there. Why is the sun card reversed here? Five of Wands. They 
They want to have the argument. Throw another card on that. The tower. On with it. On with it. If it's going to happen, it just needs to happen. very interesting. Could be a Leo you're dealing with. The sun is the Leo card. Leo is a fire sign. And fire signs, if we love to do anything, it's argue. Don't ask me why. I don't know if you've ever noticed how a fire sign deals with anything it usually ends up in some kind of weird spat. Or the avoidance of some kind of weird spat. Neon and I have argued in the past. I'm not going to say what we were fighting about, but um, we didn't talk for like three weeks. And I was still taking her to her doctor's appointments at that point, and we were still going to the chiropractor together at that point. Do you know what it's like to be in a car with somebody for an hour and not have a conversation? It was super weird. Because her and I talk about everything. We're best friends. Super weird. This is a fire signs deal with stuff. But we're talking about Aquarius. They just want to have the argument. They want to shake it up. They want you to walk on the eggshells. They, they want you to engage. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it kind of gets them off a little bit. I don't know. You could possibly be dealing with someone that just likes getting fired up. I don't know. Mm. I think the conver a conversation just needs to happen. Obviously, you feel like you're entitled to an apology, but I don't think you've said anything. Maybe you need to bring it up, Aquarius. Two of Swords can also represent an awkward conversation. Is this an awkward conversation you've been avoiding? I'm just curious. Page of Cups reversed came pop flying out. We're just going to lay it up there. Obviously, you're not talking about it. Why is Two of Pentacles reversed here? Ace of Swords reverse, Ten of Cups reverse. The obstacle here is emotional juggling. Somebody's got to make a decision. There is no happiness. The, the happiness circle is not complete here. There's no conversation. That's the obstacle. Nobody's talking! Why is nobody talking? Because apparently someone feels like if they say anything, a fight's going to break out. And the other person wants the damn fight to break out. Aquarius, if you feel like you're entitled to apology about something, say it. Have the conversation. You're an air sign. You love to talk. I'm just saying. I've never, ever known an Aquarius to not be willing to have a conversation about something. Ever. <laughs> you may close your emotions off. And, and not say how you're feeling. But you'll, at the very least, talk about it. You just gotta give me your time. Maybe you're taking your time. Nine of Cups reversed. Flew out. Somebody's not getting their cups filled. Somebody may be filling their cups with the wrong things. That might be what the argument's about. Why is the Four of Swords reversed here for what can be done?
Your Nine of Pentacles popped out. Death reversed popped out. Over here, you think the person's a little bit clingy. There's restless energy going on in the relationship. Somebody is potentially filling their cups with the wrong things or not filling the other person's cup. Okay, maybe. Not throwing shade, not putting anybody in blast. I'm just reading the cards. This was not my idea. Just throwing that out there. Somebody needs to separate themselves from this emotionally. Somebody needs to find independence from this. Or things are not going to change. The Nine of Pentacles is a woman who knows her worth. Woman, man, the sex of the card isn't important. It's the message behind it. Knows their worth. Could be you, could be the other person. Self-worth means a lot. If nobody ever brings up that there's a problem, can we expect to solve it? Concept. Just saying. You have to have enough self-love and self-respect and enough love and respect for the other person to have the freaking conversation. If you want to fix it, you got to try to fix it. If you don't want to fix it, walk away. I mean, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just reading some cards here, kids. What fell out? A hanging man. See things from the other person's perspective. How do you do that? You sit down and you have a conversation. You can't know the other person's perspective if you never talk about it. And if this is someone you're walking on eggshells around, why the hell are you with them to begin with? Why do you deal with them? Why would you put up with a situation like that? I'm just curious. Leave a comment. Send me an email. I'm just curious. Why would you do that to yourself? Who does that? Okay, I did that in... in yeah. Actually, oddly enough, he, he was an Aquarius, now that I think about it. Yeah. His birthday was January 20... Yeah, he was an Aquarius. Well, I'll be damned. Anyway... His birthday was January 28th. He was an Aquarius. And he often walked around eggshells with me, come to think of it. Wow. Okay. That makes sense now. What is the full reverse tier for the outcome? I'm done babbling about my life. No trust, no no forward movement, staying stuck, no healing, one more. Oh, Ace of Wands. Possibility of a of new things elsewhere. Why is the Ace of Wands here? I was on a roll till the Ace of Wands popped out. I love it when the universe throws this at me. Thanks. Three of Cups. Well. New passionate beginnings elsewhere. 
possibility for a reunion of some type later down the road, maybe. But you never healed from it. And you don't trust this person. Get your advice. Things are never the same after that. How about that? Four of Cups reversed, Queen of Cups reversed. You gotta look at this as an opportunity. Don't ignore or emotionally close yourself off. If someone tries to have a conversation, go ahead and have it. Don't uh, allow yourself to process whatever emotions go along with this. Because this is an opportunity that you should not ignore. Eight of Swords in the reverse, Ace of Cups in the upright. Well, I'll be damned. There, there's that cup you're not supposed to ignore. I think there's something new coming for you. Or an opportunity with this person here, if you so choose to take it. One second, I'll be done in like one minute. Hold on. Where was I? I love it when he does that. Eight of Swords reversed. Don't let this consume you. Don't be so afraid to have the conversation that it consumes you. That's all I got. That was deep. Wow. Let me know if it resonated at all. I apologize. It was kind of scattered. But, I mean, I was following along with it pretty good. All right. Aquarius, I love you guys. You guys are great. Thank you so much for the opportunity to read for you tonight. I will catch you guys hopefully in a week or week and a half or so for your first half of May reading. I'm going to check out for the night. I got Pisces to do. Then I'm headed to bed. So catch you later.